this video will be a special video uh, covering the lower hexagon, the perfect hexagon on the tree, okay? Back in video number 33, we did a special uh, observing the upper hexagon. So we're going to do the exact same thing with the lower hexagon. Now it divides into three, um, three six-pointed forms. Two of them are composed of six sephirot and six paths. And one of them is composed of seven sephirot and six paths, okay? So, <clears throat> like last time, we start by working with the big circular formation. This is gate number 160, actually. Um, and it follows all around, from Tiferet to Gejula, to Netzach, to Malkuth, to Hod, to Gebura, and back to Tiferet, okay? We'll be doing it in the same pattern we did last time. Now, we start in Tiferet, go down to Gedjula, go down to Netzach, go down to Malkuth, come up to Hod, come up to Gebura, come up to Tiferet and then back around. Then we pass to Gedjula, and we go from Gedjula down to Netzach, Malkuth, Hod, Gebura, Tiferet, Gedjula, and back around. Then we go Gebura, and we go up to Tiferet, down to Gedjula, down to Netzach, down to Malkuth, up to Hod, up to Gebura, and back around. Then we go to Netzach. Then we go Netzach to Malkuth, up to Hod, up to Gebura, up to Tiferet, to Gedjula, down to Netzach, and back around. Then we go from Hod. Hod up to Gebura, up to Tiferet, down to Gedjula, now Netzach, to Malkuth, and back to Hob. And then we go from Malkuth, Malkuth up to Hod, up to Gebura, up to Tiferet, down to Gedjula, down to Netzach, down to Malkuth, and back around. Once we've completed that circuit of working the circle, all those 12 times, basically, we hold on to that, that as a whole, the structure of that gate 60, 160, and we become gate 160, just like we did before, okay? Then we let go. Then we come to the second structure, which is actually composed of two gates. Gate number 106, the upward pointing triangle, and gate number 120, the downward pointing triangle. Okay? And, as noted before, the upward pointing triangle will be done counterclockwise with the flow specifically the flow of the mother letter, okay, Mem, from Netzach to Hod, okay, that one's done in that direction. The downward pointing triangle is done in the opposite direction, the actually clockwise, following the flow of Aleph, from Gedjula over to Gebura, okay? So, this is sort of complicated. We start in Tiferet. We go down to Netzach. We follow the path of Mem over to Hod, and then that hidden path back up to Tiferet, and then back around. Now, second, we come to Gedjula, 
and we follow the path of Aleph over to Gebura, hidden path down to Malkuth, hidden path up to back up to Gedula, and back around. And then we go Netzach. We take Mem over to Hod, up to Tiferet, down again to Netzach, and then back around. Then we go Malkuth, and we go up to Gedula, the hidden path, over along Aleph to Gebura, and down the hidden path back to Malkuth, and then back around. Then we go from Hod. We take Hod up to Tiferet, Tiferet down to Netzach, Netzach over to Hod, and then back around. And then we go Gebura. We go Gebura down to Malkuth, Malkuth up to Gedjula, and Gedjula over to Gebura, and then back around. Okay. Now, once we have done that, we again hold on to that form and become the form. The joining of these two gates together in the way that we've worked them, okay? Hold that for a while and then let it go. So, our next form is a six-pointed star composed of six gates, all centered around Yesod, okay? Now, there's six gates. Gate number 37, Resh, from Tiferet to Yesod. Number 40, Lamed, from Gedjula to Yesod. Number 47, Nun, from Gebura to Yesod. Number 72, from Yesod to Netzach. Number 91, from Yesod to Hod, Ayin. And number 131, from Yesod to Malkuth, Tav. Okay? Now, <clears throat> we're going to be working this whole thing twice. Once in one direction, descending, numerically descending, and then in the other direction, numerically ascending. Okay? So, to begin, we start in Tiferet. Okay? And we come down the path of Resh, to Yesod. Then we go up to Gedjula and back down to Yesod. Up to Gebura and then back down to Yesod. Down to Netzach and back up to Yesod. Down to Hod and back up to Yesod. And down to Malkuth. And then we go back all the way through Yesod and up to Tiferet, ending where we started. Okay? Now the second working, we start in Malkuth. And we go from Malkuth up, up Tav to Yesod, down to Hod, and back to Yesod, down to Netzach, and back to Yesod, up to Gebura, and back to Ye Yesod, up to Gedjula, and back to Yesod, up to Tiferet, and then we go back down all the way through Yesod to Malkuth. And that ends the two times of doing this form. Now, this form you're going to hold on to. Again, you're going to become the form. You are going to become the six-rayed star with yes sought at your core, okay? Hold on to that. Now add to that the double triangles, the upward pointing and downward pointing triangles. Add that to the six-pointed star. Become these two forms together and hold on to that. 
and then add that gate number 160, that all surrounding hexagonal gate. Add that to the mix. Superimpose that upon the triangles and the six rayed star, and you become the whole lower hexagon. Sit with that for a while. <laughs> Be that lower hexagon. And then when, when, when the time seems right, you stop. Okay? Now, like before, I recommend doing this whole process at least three times. Okay? The first time, just like last time, you're going to be stumbling around. It's inevitable, and it's okay to get your footing and, you know, remember the sequencing. Um, so and then the second time will be easier. You won't be stumbling as much. And the third time, you'll really groove on it. Okay? So, happy Beltane. <laughs> See you next time with the continuation of the gates. Alrighty, bye-bye.